can you describe or, or why Quest to Learn? Why Quest to Learn at this moment in time? Right. So the idea for Quest to Learn uh, came about a couple of years ago when a lot of this work that MacArthur had been doing was beginning to produce some interesting um, ideas and understandings around how kids today were learning differently. Um, and I think at the time I felt like, okay, so there's all this amazing work being done sort of in isolation, lots of very interesting theory, um, but it was very hard to put that theory into practice within traditional schools. Um, and I also felt like with a, lo a lot of other people coming to a realization that making change from within a very reified school structure is also very, very difficult. You change one thing, but the, the form itself is very resistant. Um, so the idea was, well, if we were to imagine a school design from the ground up, based on what we were learning about, about around how kids are learning today, how they're using digital media, the kinds of social practices arising out of that, uh, would we be able to develop a kind of lab context for the kinds of things that MacArthur and others are funding um, and the kinds of theories that we have around what good learning looks like. So often some people think of Quest to Learn as a game school, but mm -hmm. it's not a game school. Can you describe the, the difference between what Quest to Learn is and why people might perceive it as a game school? Right, so when we first start talking about Quest and we mention the idea of video games, the, the very first image that comes to people's mind is that the kids are going to be sitting in the classroom playing video games all day. Um, and I think it's because that uh, for, for many years our ideas of games and school or games and learning was about taking content, putting it in a game, and then putting that game in the classroom. Um, and so the very first thing I'll say is that is not the model that we're working with. Instead, what we're trying to say is we understand games as, as having affordances that support certain kinds of learning or learning in very particular ways. Can we take those affordances, th that framework, and design a school that operates in that way? So we talk about Quest supporting game-like learning. So kids may be playing games as part of the curriculum, but they, it's, it's a broader sense that they are interacting within a game-like space. So that means that uh, kids interact with content in an inter interdisciplinary way as they would in a game. They are dropped into complex problem spaces as they would in a game. That's kind of inquiry-based learning. Um, they are working in cross-functional teams, often collaborating around problem solving. Uh, it's a very scaffolded and, uh, environment where kids are given just-in-time learning. Uh, it's very exploratory. It supports experimentation. Um, and kids have a chance to take on identity, social identities as designers uh, within the school space. And those are all qualities that we see arri arising from games. And so, I think, you, I think you might have just answered this, but why are games good teaching tools? Or what are the components of a game that makes it a good teaching sure. tool? Sure. So, so one of the things in my own work that I realized at some point that what a game designer does looks very, very similar to what a good teacher does. So a game designer is constantly thinking about what, it is it, what is it that my player needs to know at this moment? Same thing a teacher does. I'm trying to think about well, what are a variety of experiences that I can give my players based on their learning style or the thing that they may be interested in at this moment. So we begin to get a differentiation. Um, there's a very particular kind of goal that's set and, and movement towards that goal is scaffolded and um, ordered in such a way that I'm only given a challenge that's just out of reach but I'm given the tools to reach that. So again, something very similar to what we would consider a good teacher doing. Um, so when you begin to look at how games work, you see that they have the markings of a very robust and very effective learning environment. So that's the reason that we begin to look at games as a model for what, um, what a school might look like. As a game designer, what got you interested in opening up a school? <laughs> that's a good question. Um, I don't know that the two things are inherently linked, um, other than in my own practice as a designer, the trajectory has been first to try to understand how games work, and once I began to work at understand how games work, I began to, to understand well, how can they be used as a framework to design other kinds of things. Um, and in the past, those other kinds of things have been art projects, like a karaoke ice cream truck, um, they've been curriculum, they've been other kinds of interactive play-based experiences that aren't necessarily games. And I think when the, the, the uh, stars aligned in such a way that the notion of opening a school came up, it seemed like a very natural uh, decision to make, to think about the design of the school because of what I said earlier, that, that uh, the way that game designers work is very much the way that teachers work. And I just felt like it were, there was a really strong connection between the framework of how 
Um, I've been thinking about how, how games work and what they support in terms of participation and experience and how schools could work if we had a chance to redesign them.